My favorite part, doing an interview. <laughs> it's famous, everybody knows Las Vegas. When you grew up in Belgium or Europe, you always think Vegas is that nice place where people go to and have fun. And there's a lot of people having fun here, but it's not my kind of fun. I want to go to Moab and camp or something like that. It's more fun for me than being stuck in these uh, buildings and, and you don't even know which, if it's daytime or nighttime here. So if you say you need to go to Las Vegas, they're like, oh, I don't want to go. But you know, it's part of the job, I guess. If you hear from Americans, they go into Belgium, they always go into Ghent and Odenade. I lived on the, on the complete different side of Belgium, the east side, where the French part starts. I grew up there, and in Belgium, it's, it's tradition, you always stay close to your family, and that's so I always stayed on that side, and I like that side. If you grew up in Belgium, there's two national sports, that's soccer and cycling, and um, I did BMX when I was younger, and then I never really trained, I just started doing cross, but I had the technical skill from the BMX, so but I was really tiny when I was 15, 16, I only had a really tiny f bike and stuff like that. But I managed myself in top five already when, when I was the 15 category, and three years later I won my first race. So. Cross got more popular in Belgium. When I was school, I was schooled till 19, I came off school, I was professional right away, doing road in the summer, a, a lot of quits, and doing cars in the winter, and at some point it got really famous in Belgium, and you're making a living of that. So. There were only like seven or eight professional cyclocrossers at that time, so me and then Mario de Klerk and Sven Hayes. Sven Hayes is a year younger and Bart Valens is, is also a year younger, I think. We are the ones, we're, we're the generation that starts making it really nice and popular in Belgium. Training with Sven, we will go like five hours, six hours in Spain and the day after he would do it again and the third day he would do it again and after three days I say, Sven, I need a recovery day, I need to I need to stop riding my bike today, I can't do it anymore. He would go like for 10 days straight, six hours, having an average of 34 every day, so he was a beast on the bike and he still is, so he's the most famous cyclocross guy ever and he always will be that person that's only once in a lifetime. There's something like that, and he only had one goal in his life, and that's be the, the guy he is now, and, and he made it. And for me, I like to do other stuff sometimes, like having a party or like doing a nice holiday and stuff like that. But he made that choice, and I'm, I made my choice in life. I think I come, came over five years ago to do Vegas one time, but then I left back to Belgium. At some point, I was kind of done racing in, in, in Belgium and then we got the idea to do a few races in the US in the beginning of the season and then it grew from doing three or four weeks why not do the whole season in the US. I didn't like racing in Belgium anymore. In Belgium it's, it's a national sport and wherever you go everybody recognizes you and you get up with cycling you go to bed with cycling. For me in Belgium there was no off switch from cyclocross and that's why at some point I was fed up with it and I want to get away of all the media, all the, the life in Belgium. <laughs> For me also my history as a, an ex doper it was not easy, you know, everybody knows it, everybody point, pointing a finger at you and well, yes, I made a mistake, and but I want to have a normal life. I want to have fun in my life, and I love riding my bike, and, and I still can make a living riding my bike. So why not keep racing? But I, I don't like being in the spotlight anymore.
you see that like now the testing is really strict, but at some point in, in our career, there's a great, a great line, and you keep keep staying in that gray line, gray line to be good. And I made that 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 decision to do it. And I can say everybody was doing. Yeah, that's not. It's my, it was my decision to do it. So if everybody jumps off the bridge, you don't have to follow. So it was my choice to do it. So. <laughs> Having this as racing the U.S. only and having a girlfriend in the U.S. and then for me it took me uh, 9,000 miles to find the love of my life and then we having a great life together. I'm still enjoying riding my bike and I'm still racing pretty good but I'm getting 29 and at some point it's going to stop. It can happen this year, it can happen the next month, you never know. So. Yeah, I'm going to go